Welcome back to Suncoast FYI, I'm Cassie Knoll. The 25th anniversary season is underway at the Sarasota Ballet, and here to tell us all the details is Jessica Cohen. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's good to have you here today because you play a very important role at a very important show. So <laughs> tell me a little bit about The Nutcracker. Well, The Nutcracker, it's a holiday tradition. Um, it's probably the most watched and one of the most beloved ballets of all time. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great show for kids, for adults, and it really just sort of brings the holiday spirit. Um, it's the story of a young girl, Clara, which is the role that I play, and she is given the gift of a nutcracker, and she takes this magical journey, and that's the story of the nutcracker. And you actually have played Clara, this is your second time playing Clara, mm -hmm. right? So you've got this down pat. Yeah. This is my second time in this production uh -huh. playing Clara, um, so I'm excited to revisit it and sort of make more of a role that I've already had the pleasure of playing. Now this is not the traditional Nutcracker that we're talking about here. Tell me a little bit about the version that you guys are performing. Our Nutcracker is very innovative. Um, we actually have created the whole story around the idea of the circus, oh. um, which is obviously a Sarasota famous Ringling Circus. Yeah. Um, and it's basically that Clara is completely in love with the circus and it's her dream to run away to the circus. Uh -huh. So instead of going to the Kingdom of Sweets, which is the typical Nutcracker story, mm -hmm. she goes to the circus oh, wow. and you see all the different circus characters and trapeze artists. Oh, wow. So it's a totally new spin on a holiday classic. It sounds amazing and it sounds very <laughs> localized to us yes. here on the Sun Coast. Um, so why should audiences come see the Nutcracker? I think that the Nutcracker, it, it just sort of brings this feeling of togetherness and holiday spirit. Um, it's, it's a tradition that can be become a family tradition. When I was a little girl, my grandmother brought me and my cousins to the Nutcracker, mm -hmm. and it really just, it opens children's eyes to this whole new world with music, with dance, costumes and scenery, and it's something for everyone to see. And especially adding in that circus element, yes. I'm sure it makes it even more entertaining. Yeah, it's, it's honestly a feast for the eyes. There's just an unbelievable array of colors and talents and shades to this production. So you're getting me really excited about it. <laughs> Definitely want to come see that. So um, do you have a favorite scene in the ballet? Um, my favorite scene would have to be what we like to call the transformation, mm -hmm. which is when Clara um, first awakens into her dream. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like this big plot twist when all of a sudden we go from reality to Clara's dream mm -hmm. and that feeling where magic is surrounding you and anything is possible. Mm -hmm. And it goes straight into the battle scene, which is all of a sudden her worst nightmare. Yeah. So it's this really fun um, range of emotions to play. Sounds like we transitioned very quickly yeah, there. Yeah, it goes really quickly from just this amazing, joyous feeling to a mouse attacking you and <laughs> the nutcracker protecting you and it's it's a really action-packed fun scene. Uh huh. So that's your that's your favorite yeah, one to do? Yeah, that's my favorite. Um, so you guys have live music as well. What does that add to the ballet? There's really nothing like watching a live performance when you can feel that orchestra with you as a part of the performance mm -hmm. and this is famous music that most people are just familiar with you know, a jewelry commercial with the yes. song of the Sugar Plum Fairy, but mm -hmm. here you're having the whole score, um, which tells a story on its own, and to have live musicians playing that is really special. And so can you tell me real quick who the live musicians are? Um, it's the Sarasota, Sarasota Orchestra that's uh -huh. playing, um, and they just play the full Tchaikovsky score, which is really beautiful. That's amazing. Of course, with the Sarasota Orchestra, it's going to be fabulous mm -hmm. to start with. So. Um, of course, if people are interested in this, they need to buy up their tickets now because you guys are only having three performances. Yeah. So tell me, where can people go for more information about that? They can go to the sarasotaballet.org mm -hmm. and they can call the box office as well. Okay. And buy tickets and come see the show. I was going to say, the show is going to be next Friday and Saturday, the uh, 18th and the 19th. Again, only three performances, so you got to buy those tickets soon. Thank you so much for coming on the show Thank today. Thank you for having me. And good luck at your performances. Thank you. And coming up next on Suncoast FYI, it's time for Santa's Cause. We'll have those details next, so stay tuned.